Well, Brian, do you... <laughs> get me started. Yeah, you don't want to get him started. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know that from experience. Um, you're actually only, you're a professor of math as well as, as, well as physics, probably the only one on the table. Yeah, and the here. question that comes to mind for me is, how do you know that math is the language of the universe? I was going to say, what about I, the multi? The universe told me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty okay. good first approximation, I'll tell you. Now, okay, we're now doing science by revelation. Lawrence, but, before we go, I'm yeah. just wondering, because I, I have a question about this. Uh -huh. Could you imagine that one day far in the future we encounter some alien civilization and they say, hey, show us what you've done to understand the universe and we bring out our math books with all our theorems and physics and they turn to them and say, math, we tried that. Yeah, <laughs> it, it takes you just so far. <laughs> <laughs> and the real way to do it is like this. I would say that whatever that real way is, it's well, not it manifest to us at this moment. And until that day happens, where an alien tells us how backwards we are, all I can say is that the math that we did invent out of our human brain, as you surely know, Eugene Wigner said, the unreasonable effectiveness, effectiveness of, of mathematics in describing the universe, the fact that it works at all is sufficient enough for me. But, 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 no, but I'll, I'll, here, I want to I wanna, I wanna have a no it just because, wait, it just because, you still can't figure Just out your string bigger. theory. Okay. Back in your Don't come to crying to me. Back in Don't come crying to me. You can't figure it out. No, in fact. You got him started. See, you got him started. Said, Don't get me started. Don't get him started. <laughs> no, but I want to go on record. He warned a, you not to get him started. Yeah, I know, I told you. But I want to go on record. I want to go on record, and this is a momentous occasion. I want to go on record as agreeing with Brian. Um, <laughs> Is anybody but, uh, keeping the record? But no, in the sense that uh, it is fascinating if you're a theoretical physicist to wonder when you find something fascinating, whether uh, at math some mathematical formalism fascinating, whether it's a property of our brains or whether it's a property of the universe. And, and we just don't know, I think, the, is the answer. We, if you stri if string right, theory but, looks but straight, let me ask you a question. Yeah. I find it slightly confusing because, Neil, you describe math as something that we create. So why is it the thing that we create is somehow intrinsic to the universe? Isn't that awesome? Our description. It's a, it is awesome. It's a awesome. Awesome. Right. It, I don't, it is a description. I don't lose sleep over that. I celebrate it. It's a good thing. <laughs> I, I celebrate it too. Yeah, but, 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 the the but it is a question. There may be limitations yep. on understanding the universe because of the way our brains work. And I think... That's uh, surely and, the case. That's yeah, surely the and, case. And for Republicans, it's already happened. But it's... Uh, uh, <laughs> But, but, but um, uh, no, but seriously, that's an interesting question, and we, you know, it, it, we really have to wonder about that. And if you're, again, uh, working, as, as some of us are at the forefront of physics, we, you wonder at some point when, when it's going to end. It's some Republicans. Yeah. Well, but to the questioner's question, mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't worry about the possibility that it, mathematics is going to turn out to be ineffective in describing the universe and use that as a reason to not keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> and press on. That's right.